Hey YouTube, this is Firewars23, and welcome back to Let's Play Pikmin! On to day two, we're gonna head to the Forest of Hope. Now you can see in the lower right corner, uh, see the number of stars that's where it says parts in this area? You can see we got one part in the, in the impact site, but there is another ship part there, but we can't get it yet. But there are eight parts in the Forest of Hope, uh, let's go get some! Hiya! Now this video is probably gonna be two parts, but I am gonna upload it in the same day. So here we go, the Forest of Hope. And here comes the red Pikmin onion to land with us. Boom! Like a UFO mothership. <clears throat> oh my, oh my, <clears throat> my dolphin has returned to the surface along with the Pikmin's onion. Being alone on this strange planet makes me somewhat uneasy. So I shall call the Pikmin out of the onion. All I need to do is stand in the light beneath the onion and press A. And there, just in case you forgot where A was on the controller. Press A. And here we go, we can take out the Pikmin. The number on the top is how many are in the ship. Number on the bottom are, are the number you're taking out or have with you. So I'm going to switch it to... Well, the number on the left is how many you're actually taking out in this transaction. The number on the bottom is how many you have with you. So watch this. Huzzah! Now we're going to have to coordinate a couple things here. There's a wall here that the Pikmin... You can break it down if you chuck some at it. So I'm going to throw about ten Pikmin over there. Let's go ahead and... Harvest a few more pellets, and ooh, we got a lot of stuff going on over there. I'll we'll have to get this wall down. We also see here a yellow pellet. Now, the yellow pellet, if you bring this over with a red Pikmin, you're only going to get one Pikmin out of it. If it's a red one and it's a red Pikmin, you'll get two, col two of that color. Oops, spoiler. <laughs> Basically, the color needs to match the Pikmin who's using it. Otherwise, it doesn't work as well as it could. And we also have this strange grass over here. And if we bring the Pikmin into it, they'll start plucking it, and eventually, that weird syrup is gonna pop out. Another intriguing discovery! A local variety of grass produces a sort of yellow nectar when the Pikmin drink this delicacy. This instantly mature into- they instantly mature into flowers! This apparent Pikmin favorite seems to be a full, nut full of nutrition. Closer observation is needed to determine the strength of and peculiarities of these flower Pikmin. Essentially, there are three uh, levels of Pikmin growth. There are leaves, buds, and flowers. If the Pikmin are left in the ground, as this one is, for example, uh, oh, zoom in, like that one, for example, it would grow into a bud and then a flower eventually. But if you pick it now, it just stays a leaf. Uh, buds and flowers, they have more strength and they are also faster, and you will notice that as I start walking with large groups of them. Also, another little thing of stuff over here, and nobody criticized me of, like, oh, you could do this and just wait longer. It's like, well, I'm trying to do an LP here. It's a bit of a difference. Let's have those guys break down the walks. That's all we can really do with them. We also have a steel wall over here, like a rock wall. Break against the wall. Unfortunately, the red Pikmin cannot break this down. It's a little bit too tough for them. See how the, the flower Pikmin were outrunning the leaf Pikmin there? Let's get them all on the wall, all 28 of them. There we go. Call them all back. We have some monsters, well, enemies. This is a little bullberg. I forget what its, exa what its exact name is. I'm gonna, I think it's a spotty bullberg. But easily defeated by throwing a Pikmin on it. Here's some flowers we can knock down just by running the Pikmin across them. Does the Pikmin get attracted to knocking them down? Oh, no, don't take it back yet. Now, what might we do with these dead enemies? Well, if you throw a Pikmin at them, they carry them back to their base. And they are going to put them inside their onion, their respective onion, and create Pikmin. <laughs> now, that's Darwinism and evolution in action. Oh, but I do see some red pellets. Let's throw our Pikmin at them. Grab the red pellets. After all, the red pellets should be for the red Pikmin. Ooh, and there's a big fiver. One, two, three, four, five. Nice. Let's see what else is going on over here. Ooh, a big ten. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got some more of these Bulbergs. Let's knock them out. And... What's this? Why, it's the internal fuel dynamo! It has an unlimited supply energy supply. I won't have to worry about saving electricity anymore. This will make my fight for survival a bit easier. Let's carry it back. Uh-oh. 
Oh, the big four zero Pikmin we need. That's a lot. But we'll definitely need some more flowers to start heart to grow some. Or at least the these uh, pellet seeds. Carry them back. Oh yeah, come to Papa. Let's use these three and carry back a Bulberg. A Spidey Bulberg. So now they're all heading back to the Onion. Let's see what's going on. We know some Pikmin have been sprouting. And we see other Pik and Pikmin are growing. Let's pluck them out while more seeds come back. This game becomes a delicate balance between the growing, the harvesting and growing of Pikmin and getting your ship parts. Which is kind of the charm of it, I think. It's, it creates an interesting economy system in it where you have to really manage and budget your time. Oh. Kind of threw him randomly. Oh, yeah! There's Pikmin. But we do have enough to accomplish our current next task, so let's uh, keep going. Let's see all these pellets here. We might be able to put them to use later. Well, we can grab this, so let's just uh, go for it. Uh, wait. One, two, three, four, five. Let's take five of them over there. And I'll just disperse you guys to take that back. One. There we go. I thought I had a lost one. Maybe I did. Well, they're going to take that back as they plow over things. Nice going, guys. Nice. Okay. Whoa! Big guy. Let's avoid him for the moment. He's actually pretty sleepy. As long as we avoid him, we'll be okay. Let's throw you four on this wall to begin knocking it down. Not much, but they can accomplish a lot in time. Oh, by the way, the time! As you notice, we have a sundial on the very top of the screen. Uh, we're just about at midday. Once time goes out, we have to make sure we have all the Pikmin rounded up. Otherwise, bad things will happen. Okay, let's pick all these Pikmin. Now, they're going to take that part to the light near the onion. See it over there? They're going to put it right uh, near the ship, and they're going to beam it up into the ship. Like so. How they know to do this, who knows? <laughs> uh, this should light things up. No more candles for me. We have two out of 30 parts. If we can find three more, I should be able to increase my ship's cap capabilities. Grab you guys! There we go. So we have all... That's strange. The game was for Pikmin who are not with me. Oh, the wall, duh. But I found the one straggling Pikmin. He was at the wall right there. He saw how to get rid of this big guy. Well, I found one strategy that works pretty well. Attack his booty! <laughs> you may also notice during that preceding fight that some of the Pikmin lost their flowers. That does happen. Cause, and they get weaker as a result. My clock has indicated the coming of noon. From now on, I must pay close attention to the sun meter on, the, on my monitor and choose my actions accordingly. So it's best for me to review my monitor's data. Yeah, just it's just give me a description. Okay, so we got him. 